Wow, they're nice. They are very nice, aren't they? Wow. I like coming here every day. I'll bet. Yeah, this is good. Good to see you. And you. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I've had so many, I don't know if you get this. Yes. I've had, you do, you know what I'm going to say. Yes, I do. All right, then. Um, anyway. <laughs> Next topic. People confuse me for you A all A homeless the man on the street, all due respect, in New York, before I was even awake, it's dark out, I go outside, he looks at me and says, you know who you look like? The girl, the comedian, Ellen, that's who you look like. This man had no shoes on. Yeah, those, and those are my people. <laughs> <laughs> my peeps. Yeah. Um, and I stood there, of course, waiting for him to recognize me from Sopranos. Right. You know, he had no idea that I, you know, right. I have anything to do with this industry whatsoever. He just right. thought I looked like you. Well, HBO is expensive. You yes. know, I mean, I'm on free TV. <laughs> and well, I don't know. He has a television, regardless. Yeah. So yeah. Yes, well, it happens with some regularity. I, and he didn't recognize you ever. You just no. Could, no. That's At a certain point, I gave up. Uh, how long did you stay there waiting for him? Forty-five minutes <laughs> waiting. For him to recognize you. I didn't want to say anything. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. I get it all the time. Yeah. Doris Roberts. Uh, I saw. Did you I'll see that? I'll stop interrupting. Go on. No, you talk. No, I, I saw that segment where she said she was backstage talking to you for a period of time, sort of in the dark, before she realized that you were not me. She thought she was talking to me. Yes. yes. Well, she told me I should have won the Emmy for that last scene when I threw him out of the house, and I'm thinking, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking, and I wanted to be nice because I thought maybe she'd lost it. You know, so. <laughs> nice meeting you, Doris. Uh, <laughs> but uh, but it's I'm flattered that that Back somebody would would I would look like you. Well, thank you, I agree. And you're um you're really you are so amazing. And that last scene when you threw him out of the oh, house. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Thank you. So good. So good. You're so good on that. And your accent, is that something that is natural for you, or is that an accent you have to put um, on? It is kind of natural. I grew up on Long Island, and, um... Yeah! Long Island! <laughs> my mother. Shout out. Um, uh, so, yeah, I've heard it my whole life. And How, then I what's the difference between Long Island and New Jersey? It's I so subtle. I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> I, just used, I used the same accent. You went right into it. I was it. waiting yeah. for somebody to, to call me on that. Thanks. Yeah. Um, that they are, in fact, I guess there are differences, but I don't know them. So but so they sound it's pretty a much the same. tri-state area sort uh -huh. of yeah. know, accent. So you just kind of lay it on a little heavier for so, yeah. Carmella? Yeah. Uh huh. And do you ever get stuck in that? Is that easy to get stuck in and you go home talking like no, that? No, no. I'm very happy to put it aside at the end of the day. I put it in my little box where I put my fingernails and I... Put yeah. it in my bag and wait till the next <laughs> yeah, day. Yeah, those work. are some nails. They are right. indeed. What clip? We have a clip, I think, and maybe it's the clip that we were just talking about, which is so intense oh. of the the last scene. Let's let's take a look. We're back with Edie Falco, and uh, but what a, what a job! You know, you look as an actress, you try to find a role like that, that meaty, that kind of mm. uh, role that probably you just look forward to playing. Yes, absolutely, you and do, and it, they don't come along a lot. No. No, they don't. And uh, and and before you did this, uh, what did you do to kind of? Because uh, have you a how how long were you acting before this came along? Uh, well, I've been acting forever and ever and ever. You know, doing any kind of little thing, friends, putting money together to do a play. You know that whole thing. Yeah. Um, but to make money, I waitressed for eight million years. Um, I did. Uh, Aren't you glad you waitressed? No, not even, not a little bit. Even. No. <laughs> no. I think it's the best thing in the world. I, I keep saying I think everyone should waitress. I, you know, for a year maybe, mm -hmm. 15 years in, I was, uh -huh. I was so miserable and so unhappy and I was taking it out on these people who came to have dinner, you know? <laughs> it was bad. I felt terrible. I really, and I couldn't stop myself. I was so miserably unhappy, but that's another story. Okay. Um, I've done uh, all kinds of crazy work, but there, there was a period of time where there was a company uh, that hired me to, uh, like, the people at weddings to get people up on the dance floor, you know, and I was dressed as the cookie monster and... At a wedding? It was horrific. <laughs> Who puts the cookie monster at a wedding to get people... I don't know. Somebody paid for his organization to hire these people who call themselves actors. And uh, the thing is, at, uh, you know, at a wedding, I'm the one sitting there praying no one comes near me. Uh-huh. And here I was having to grab the quiet people off. It was bad. It was bad news. Were the Very kids, like, news. were they five years old getting married? Who gets a cookie monster I don't know. You at know, a wedding? It's funny, you know, I never actually thought about that. That's, that is unusual. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't, I don't really either. I just know that the, he the head was like this, and it had a little scrim, and I was, like, trying to dance, <laughs> and I moved my head, and it went like this. <laughs> so the scrim's over here, 
as I'm trying to find my way back to that and bumping into things. Oh, no. That's, Story of my life. That's not. A perfect metaphor for <laughs> many of the things I experienced before <laughs> Sopranos. But. Your head sometimes when you turn too fast, <laughs> the scrim is over there. Yeah. I couldn't have put Always it Always turn your head slowly. That's the key to remember in life. Um, all right. So uh, I can't wait for the show to start. Oh, it, good. It, it, the, the new season of The Sopranos starts uh, on March 7th at 9 o'clock on HBO. I can't wait. We'll be right back right after this. Thanks.